It's Friday, October 15, 2010, and you're watching This Week in Linux News. Unless you've been living under a rock for the last six months, you realize that Ubuntu 10.10 .10 released just this week on 10.10.10, October 10th, the 42 day, the most epic day of all time. What you may not realize about that is, along with that come a slew of official and unofficial distributions including Kubuntu, Zubuntu, Lubuntu, Mythbuntu, SuperOS, and a bevy of other ones. And of course with each of these come their own specific options and features. Feel free to check them all out, I'll have links to every one of them in the show notes which you can find in the doobly-doo. To go right along with that, the Medibuntu repository has been updated with new Maverick Meerkat repositories. These include such things as 32 and 64-bit video and audio codecs, DVD, CSS, decryption, playback type stuff, all sorts of non-free things that would not be included in Ubuntu by default, but are extremely useful for a lot of people. So if you haven't tried it out before, you might want to go check out medibuntu.org just to see if there's anything you're interested in there. And the last little bit of Ubuntu specific news, Ubuntu Tweak version 0.5.7 release to correspond with the Maverick Meerkat release. It includes a lot of small fixes, a bunch of new PPAs, some new options, crash fixes, things like that. If you're on Ubuntu and you've not tried out Ubuntu Tweak before, give it a shot. There are so many things that you can do with it, up to and including moving those buttons from the upper left hand corner to the upper right hand corner like a lot of people prefer. So give it a shot, I'll have links to that of course where in the doobly-doo. And since we're on the topic of releases, VirtualBox 3.2.10 released this week. It was mainly released to deal with some regression issues and some major bug fixes. One of those in general though is the Xorg 1.9 support. Now that most of the major distributions have moved to Xorg 1.9, VirtualBox finally caught up and now the addition should work with it, maybe with a little bit of tweaking. I'll probably put up a video on installing VirtualBox additions inside of Ubuntu soon, but that just lets you know that it is possible. Alright, just a couple of more release related type things. Tiny Core version 3.2 released this week. I bet that we can expect a review of it very soon from our very own Sneaky Linux. If you haven't checked his channel out before, make sure to do so. And according to the Google Code site, Google Chrome OS is actually in an RC state right now. The version number 0.9.78.1, and we would expect that the final build would be 1 point something. So it should be released hopefully in the next few months. They said it would be by the end of the year, and a couple of the threads on the forum actually mention a November 11th date. Whether or not that is a code freeze date or an actual release date remains to be seen. Whether it's actually an important date or not, again, remains to be seen. But that does give us something to look forward to. So we'll keep an eye on Chrome OS. Now this might interest you if you're a gamer. According to Pharonix.com, the lead developer of Alien Arena contacted them and said, by the way, Alien Arena 2011 is on the way. It should be out in fall of this year. It's fall now, so hopefully it'll be out in the next couple of months. If you'll remember, just a few months ago, Alien Arena 2010 came out, including new ragdoll physics and new maps and new characters and stuff. So it's really exciting to see what's coming in Alien Arena 2011. As a bit of an update to the tablet-related stories last week, the Augen GenTouch Espresso Doppio is actually going to be capable of dual booting, which makes it extremely useful as a netbook. Before I'd mentioned, you know, having Android on a netbook not necessarily so useful, especially when it pulls out to become a tablet. However, being able to boot it up to Ubuntu or to Android OS, depending on what you feel like, that actually makes it a little bit more useful. Hopefully the hardware will be able to keep up with the operating systems. As I may or may not have mentioned last week though, it's going to be released this fall at a $599 price point. A little bit expensive for what you get, let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section below. Augen doesn't have the best history in my opinion, but they may be coming out of their shell with this, they may be making some halfway decent hardware now. Alright, moving on to a story that I received several times this week. It feels like it's a little bit outdated because the post on Microsoft's site is actually from the end of September. Microsoft created a video basically bashing OpenOffice.org, talking about how much time people lose, how much money people have lost to it, and really just going above and beyond. If you guys have not seen the video, I'll post a link to that in the show notes. Make sure to take a look at it and let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. And let's end things on some much better news. Severed Fifth released their second album this week, Nightmares by Design. This is a completely free album. It's Creative Commons licensed and it's under a fair pay system. So if you like what you hear, you can actually pay as little or as much as you want to actually own a copy of it. And one last little thing, I guess. If you've been using any sort of mobile device that's not 
not Android based for the past few months, you've probably heard of Angry Birds. Well, they were talking about releasing a beta version to Android, but they decided to go ahead and just skip all that, and they released the full version completely free, albeit ad supported, through their website. So feel free to go check that out, check out any of the stories that I've mentioned. Again, all links will be in the show notes, which can be found in the doobly-doo. And to wrap things up, let's talk about some show-related stuff a little bit. This Sunday, I'm supposed to be doing a live show at 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to have to be leaving town tonight to go to a funeral for someone in my wife's family, so we will not be back in time for that. We will probably be back late Sunday night, so instead there will probably be a gaming night instead. So if you guys want to play Urban Terror, I might be able to join in at some point, but there will be quite a few people from the Twill community playing. Go into the IRC chat room, there's a big chat button at the top of my website, and you can find out all the details, all the information on that. In addition, I've done this before, it's been a very long time though, I'm seriously considering moving moving to a multiple times a week news video schedule. So what do you guys think about that? Again, let me know in the comment section below. I'm probably going to try to do one on Monday, maybe Tuesday, because there will be some news this weekend that I've missed out on. So let me know again, and thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.